The deep sea world is, in many ways, vastly different from what we see on the surface. It's a cold, dark, and pressured environment, but even so, a vast array of creatures call it home. Among them are creatures such as the colossal squid, the giant tube worm, and the giant isopod. Today, we will talk about why some creatures in the deep sea get so big. Two general rules seem to dictate this growth. Kleiber's rule and Bergman's rule. Kleiber's rule states that animals that are bigger are generally more efficient. A cat, for example, having a mass 100 times that of a mouse, will have a metabolism roughly 32 times greater than that of a mouse. Kleiber's law, as many other biological allometric laws, is a consequence of the physics and geometry of animal circulatory systems. It also has a lot to do with surface area to volume and the fractal nature of blood vessels. Huge animals swimming in the depths of the oceans rely on food to draw from above, and food is often scarce, so they have every incentive to become more efficient and therefore larger. Bergman's rule is a general correlation between increasing body size with decreasing temperature. Populations in species of larger size are found in colder environments, and species of smaller size are found in warmer regions. But this is a tendency more than a rule. For warm-blooded animals, this happens because the bigger you are, the less area you have in contact with the surrounding environment compared to your volume. But for animals swimming in the sea, this is correlated to cell division and increased lifespan. But there is some debate regarding this rule, and other factors also contribute to body growth. So there you have it. A part of it is an adaptation to the pressure and cold environment of the deep sea, and another part of it has to do with metabolism. This doesn't necessarily mean that all sea creatures, gigantic deep sea animals, now that we've seen the main proposed, causes why some animals grow so much deep in the oceans. Let's look at some examples. Colossal squid, Masonicotuthis hamiltoni. We've already seen the giant squid, but there's also the colossal squid, believed to be the largest squid species. Researchers believe it can grow up to 14 meters and measure 750 kilograms. Specimens have been trawled from depths of more than 7,000 feet. Unlike the giant squid, whose arms and tentacles only have suckers lined with small teeth. The colossal squid's limbs are also equipped with sharp hooks. The colossal squid can hunt and eat sperm whales. Giant tube worm, Rifshina pachatilla. In 1977, scientists in the DSV Alvin discovered black smokers, hydrothermal vents that look similar to the video of the Deepwater Horizon gusher off the Galapagos Islands. Today we know that these hydrothermal vents create entirely new and unique ecosystems. Ecosystems in which creatures like the giant tube worm can survive. These worms can reach a length of 2.4 meters, 7 feet 10 in, and their tubular bodies have a diameter of 4 centimeters, 1.6 in. Japanese spider crab, Macrochera camphiri. You'd think that crabs just hang around in shallow waters, right? Well, you'd be wrong. Adult Japanese spider crabs can be found at depths of over 6,000 meters, and they can reach immense sizes, up to 12 meters from claw to claw. Specimens that weigh almost 20 k's were found. Giant isopod, Bathynomus gigantus. Giant isopods are abundant in the cold deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic oceans. Giant isopods are a good example of deep sea gigantism. While generally, isopods reach between 8 and 15 centimeters, these giant species can reach a maximum weight and length of approximately 1.7 kilograms, 3.7 pounds, and 76 centimeters, 30 in, respectively. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.